Hi, I'm Becky Roseman, a wildlife biologist with the Mississippi Bat Working Group. And today I'm going to talk to you about the southeastern myotis, an iconic bat of our bottomland hardwood forest. The southeastern myotis, or southeastern bat, is a small bat with a total body length of three to three and a half inches, wingspan of nine and a half to eleven and a half inches, and weigh four to nine grams. Their fur color is highly variable, ranging from dull gray to gray-brown to bright orange-brown. The range of the southeastern bat is restricted to the southeastern United States. It appears to be absent from the Appalachian and Smoky Mountains. However, there's still a lot we don't know about this species. In the last 20 years, our knowledge of the distribution of this species in Mississippi has expanded from sightings in six counties to 55 counties. Southeastern bats primarily occur in forests associated with permanent water. They roost in a variety of natural and man-made structures. During the spring and summer, males roost separately in bachelor colonies in caves, tree cavities, culverts, and buildings, while females congregate in maternity colonies, which may contain thousands of individuals. These colonies may occur in caves, chimneys and buildings, culverts, beneath bridges, in cisterns, and in hollow trees. Females usually give birth to twins in May or early June. Young bats can fly by the time they are five to six weeks old. Winter roosts are similar to summer roosts, although the same structures are generally not used as both hibernacula and maternity colonies. Southeastern myotis typically form smaller colonies in hibernacula. During the winter, southeastern myotis in Mississippi may experience torpor during colder periods, but are frequently alert when encountered in hibernacula. Southeastern myotis feed on a variety of insects, including mosquitoes, crane flies, small beetles, and moths. They typically forage over water flying close to the water surface to catch their prey. The southeastern bat is considered an iconic species of bottomland hardwood forests because of their reliance on large, hollow trees located near water. Although they have adapted to use man-made structures, they are tied to wetland areas more closely than most other species of bats in Mississippi. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about the southeastern myotis. You can help protect this species by protecting the caves and hollow trees that it uses for its roosts.